This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. Happy Independence Day, happy 4th of July to all of uh, the subscribers to this channel. Uh, you're in our prayers on this uh, 4th of July weekend. It's uh, July 4th, 16, 9.53 a.m. and that's Pacific Standard Time. I want to follow up on this explosion vision. I have been watching the this video was from 7-1 while I was in prayer. I had a vision of an explosion. I saw a, this is 7-1. I saw a bright white light and explosion near some type of bridge. The area had a handrail. I was shown the word orange and then these numbers 16, 54, 71. <clears throat> I've been in a lot of prayer about this and what we saw in Central Park yesterday I don't believe we'll ever know what fully happened there but uh, as you can see a guy's foot was blown off we don't have all the details they were visiting tourists the young man was 18 years old and he stepped on something that exploded and uh, they didn't shut the park down or anything so it, it was uh, I've been watching videos just to kind of bring everybody up to speed on this I've, I've been watching videos of M80s and M100s exploding and stuff and seeing how powerful and damaged they are. One thing that I noticed on these videos, you can find them right here on YouTube, is that the explosion uh, is, is white and it leaves a white ash and it, it's white and, and kind of orange. And so I believe that what the Lord was showing me in this explosion I saw was that this, uh, that it was some type of... Uh, bomb or I don't even like using that word or or firework that's why it was like I said on, on the Lord's Hour Friday night when I called in I said Central Park and that and I said that it might have been a phosphorus type explosion I'm just giving as many details as I can because we need to be in prayer over that because I believe yesterday in Central Park was a trigger event for more to come and as a watchman I have to warn you it's just how it's what I do and continue to do for the glory of God. So when you look at this article, it gives a location. Just follow me on this. I'm trying to you know, do this as quick as I can here. I know it's the holiday. So it gives a location on here, and I'll put a link to this article. And so what I did was I, I took that location, and I put it into Google Earth, and it's right here. We were talking about a, a building, and then there was a, an area that had a handrail, and a bridge. What you're looking at right here, if you just look up on this Google Earth image here, that, that is the area where the explosion occurred on the street. That's the streets they, they list right there, and I'll show you something. I came down here like into the park, and this was uh, only the Holy Spirit could have led me to this. I found this area with the handrail, and, and this is what I saw. Now, let me explain something to you. I'm gonna, this is inside the park at the exact location that the article gives. So now I want to go back up and I want to show you we want to zoom down in. Here's the area right here. We want to zoom down in on this and you'll find that someone took a picture right here and they put Cleopatra's needle. Now remember this is the exact street that they say this explosion occurred and it says Cleopatra's needle now I want to take you back to a, a video that was called plot and scheme Paris London New York United Nations Obama and it's the exact area this see this 71st Street right here just west of Roosevelt Island that street is a uh, now that everybody's seen Cleopatra's Needle, I want to pan out and I want to show you where 74th Street is. It's right up here. I mean, just by Google Earth, you know, I've never been to New York and I'm beginning to know it very well. So it's right up in this area. And then right down, it, so it's right in this area around here. See, this is 60th, so just count up 11 blocks. And then down over here is a bridge. It's called Bow Bridge. Bow Bridge. So we have the, the Theodore Roosevelt. We have the, the exact street 
And uh, I believe that uh, the Lord has showed me more in prayer today. Today's day 61. So I just want you to notice that the Lord had warned me about Cleopatra's needle. And I want to play this to you. Let's play a little bit of this. This is a video I made from... What is the date on this? April 23rd, 2016. Because I was, I was... I found it amazing that there was a Times Square in both uh, New York and London. And the, the Holy Spirit was leading us here. Okay, I want to go back to April 23rd on this video called Plot and Scheme. And I want to play what I heard that night. And uh, you're basically looking at Central Park right in this video in Times Square here. I just want to play some of this for you. This is very important on Passover as I lie there in bed I heard 53 53 53 three times and when I woke up the Holy Spirit revealed to me that it was a, a street in New York so now I want to take you to uh, the Cleopatra needle part of this prophecy okay this video may have to run a little longer than I wanted it to uh, to get to the message here but at 6 minutes and 20 seconds into this video I'm, the Holy Spirit is leading me to draw a relationship between New York Avenue as you can see here on the plot and scheme New York Avenue in London in Paris and New York Avenue in New York so I want to play a little bit of this as, it, as this ties into the United States this is the Thames River just remember that, the Thames River, because I've received a word today on this exact area in prayer. Today on 7-4. But this is 423 that you're watching. And you're looking at what comes up right here. Central See this Park. New York Avenue, New York. And then here's the latitude and longitude. See, there's Cleopatra's, the exact there's Cleopatra's needle on the top. Do you see that? And I saw, of course, these things are everywhere, this Cleopatra's Needle Obelisk. Okay, so if everybody's with me, I want to give you the word today, because this was a trigger event. This has happened, again, this is the third time the Holy Spirit has allowed us to see an exact same street. He showed us, on this channel, He showed us the exact same street of the explosion in Ankara, Turkey the exact same street before it happened and people say God is dead and then he showed us well also in the Brussels he showed us the Brussels Belgium airport explosion three years in advance and then he showed us the Istanbul airport explosion at the, the name of the airport uh, was was in a, a keyword in the video we made so this is now the fourth time where he's given us an exact same street so Cleopatra's needle and I, the reason why I'm precipicing all this is because this explosion no matter what it was it wasn't just some small firework to, to leave a crater and blow off someone's hand and I'll put a link to the article it was a trigger event for more to come and so I asked the Lord in prayer because I want us all praying over this event uh, well what is more to come and I want to show you what the Lord revealed to me today in heavy intercessory prayer today, laying out prostrate on my street, asking for more information to help others. Because God's will is going to be done. He gave me three words. They were tabernacle, terror, and tremble. And so after prayer, when I feel the Holy Spirit all over me, I came out here and I just simply put these three words right into Google, as I always do. And the first thing that popped up was the metropolitan tabernacle which is this and again it's the river Thames going through the exact area this is a this is a, a church a Baptist church here five-star church but this is the just please mention remember the the plot and scheme wasn't just New York it was also Paris and London and United Nations and it's it started the bridge in the handrail part I believe has already been fulfilled in the explosion but you know there's something bigger to come 
and and the Lord even gave me a, two scriptures on this. So so remember this Isle of Dogs, and remember we were making a video, and we 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 were Google Earth, and we came through the Isle of Dogs, and we saw the word bark, and then we saw the word arsenal of weapons. Does everybody remember that video just the way back? Well, this is the exact same river, and the way I found this was these through these three keywords. Bear witness, tabernacle, terror, tremble. And if you scroll down, it gives a scripture. And it's Matthew, it gives two scriptures actually, 1 Kings 8, 11. But it gives this scripture, Matthew 27, 51, that has all three of these words. Temple, terror, trembled in the scripture. And here it is right here. And it says in the King James, and it says, Behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain in two from the top mm -hmm. to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent the holy spirit is giving us a warning here and what i believe is that not only the united states and paris and london but i also want to include israel that that something bad is really coming and god is trying to warn us and i asked god well why why you know and and he gave me this jude 15 and i'm going to read it this is why let there be no doubt. This is why. Jude 15, it says, To execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. You see, nowhere in here does it mention us. It doesn't mention us as, you know, the, the redeemed, the church, the bride. And so... In prayer today, in a vision, I saw a concrete area. It was outside, and it was this concrete area where people would gather around and walk like some type of square. or uh, And I don't know exactly where it is, but I do want to say that I felt Israel is involved in this. But I saw, just remember, a concrete area where people walk and gather like some type of, uh, and it wasn't black tar it was like gray concrete where people gather and meet and then the holy spirit made a profound statement in my prayer he said i will reveal their plans i don't have further knowledge on what he meant by this but i know as a watchman i'm coming here to share this information these things are coming fast and hard and uh and it's because of sin and he's he's revealing exact streets multiple times because I believe that Christ is coming very soon and, and these are the signs and we're, we aren't even close to the convention yet what 11 days away from the first convention and the elections and we're already seeing this level of prophetic fulfillment within days so I ask everybody to pray over every area mentioned pray for your family pray for my wife Gail and I right man yes. and uh Watch our church service yesterday if you need encouragement. And know that we are praying for you. I want to thank you. I'm uploading this in obedience and asking other people to comment on this. Share your revelation with this. We have received over 100 different comments or emails on this, uh, this exact vision. Because I believe people are getting confirmations and bearing witness that this is in that, indeed a true warning from God in advance. And this, these things will happen. Something's going to happen. God doesn't give us the win, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I actually prayed to God yesterday, and I asked him, why don't we get a win? And he actually answered me. So I'll share that possibly in the comments. God bless you, keep you, protect you. Stay safe tonight. There's bad people out there intent on doing bad things. Do not be no part of them. Stay home.